Praise the Lord and blessed be the name of the Lord God Most High, the King of all kings and the Lord of lords. The God who was and is and is to come and who reigns forevermore. Hallelujah, precious saints of the living God. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the God of all flesh the god and the father of our lord jesus christ the great i am the i am that i am the god of abraham the god of isaac and the god of jacob the god of the now and the god of the future hallelujah in the name of jesus may the lord bless you all this is pastor samuel from house of prayer for all nations ministries in Borumwood, Hertfordshire. The Lord God Almighty bless you all this morning and I trust the Lord God Almighty that as he has given us the gift of life and the spirit of life, he also has a word for us this morning. And thanks be to his holy name who has kept and preserved us and protected us and delivered us from the hands of the evil one and has given us the spirit of life and the gift of life in Christ Jesus and we partake of life and godliness in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray this morning that may the word of God transform your life. May the word of God exalt you. May the word of God lift you up. And may the word of God bring you to the place of victory in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name. So this is Pastor Sam once again. And this is the word of exaltation morning devotional message. And I believe and trust God that as we dive into the word of God this morning, God by his grace and by his power will elevate us all and bring us to the place of of divine empowerment in jesus name amen and amen and so people of god as i i've, I've been speaking uh every morning concerning the season that we have entered into we have shifted into the season of the pentacles the season of the visitation of the holy spirit upon the church and upon uh, believers and as we have entered into this season i trust the almighty god that his presence and his power will come upon us in the name of jesus once again i gladly announce to you all that we are beginning our uh, church services from the 6th of june 6th of june uh, it is a sunday and we are beginning our services and it is being held at the Aberford Community Center, the Aberford Hall in Borhamwood, Hertfordshire, postcode WD61 PM. Aberford Cent Community Center, Aberford Hall, Aberford Road, Borhamwood, Hertfordshire, postcode WD61 PM. And our church services starts on the 6th of June which is a Sunday from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. It is a two-hour service, and I look forward to connect all of you back again. Uh, those of you that are connected with House of Prayer for All Nations Ministries, our members and um, family and loved ones and friends, invite them and, and, and send the, the announcement to, to, to them that we are beginning our services. And I trust the Almighty God that on that day will be a day of glory for all of us as we all get back once again into the house of god the lord bless you all and also from friday we are starting our three days of revival for the Pente for the pentecost season the pentecostal revival the fire of the pentecostal revival it is starting on friday on uh, our youtube and our facebook platforms live on screen uh, uh, live streaming and uh, we, we start at 7 p.m. each night from Friday the 21st to the Sunday the, uh, the 23rd, which is our Pentecostal Fire Revival. And I look forward to connecting with you all also uh, from Friday, this Friday to Sunday. And I trust God that in this revival, we will encounter the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit like never before in jesus mighty name the lord bless you all so people of god as i continue with the message uh on the endowment of the power of the holy spirit uh, god has been laying in my spirit also to teach on the subject of the of the holy spirit who is the holy spirit and the and the person of the holy spirit what is the holy spirit and and who is the holy spirit so uh, let's have a word of prayer and i believe that god will speak to us by his grace and god will touch our lives in jesus name amen and amen father in the name of jesus thank you this morning once again for the gift of life 
and the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. We are privileged to hear your word once again. Let your word bless our lives. Let your word transform us. Let the spirit and the power of your word uh, cause revival in every area of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Praise be to God forevermore. We can see that in the book of 1 John chapter number 5, reading from the verse number 7 to the verse number 8. 1 John chapter 5, reading from the 7th verse to the 8th verse. Who is the Holy Spirit and what is the Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I read, the Bible says that, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. And in the verse 8, There are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit and the water, the blood, and these also agree in one. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless the reading of His Word. People of God, this is the Word of the Lord for us. The Bible says that, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. Which means that these three people that bear record in heaven, which is the Father, means He's God the Father, the Supreme Father of all creation. And the Word is Jesus Christ, which is the Word of God. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And the Holy Spirit and these three bear record in heaven. So God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, which is the Trinity, the Trinitarian concept. The Bible says that God dwelleth in the fullness of his Godhead body. The Godhead body, it comprises of God the Father Almighty who sits on the throne, his Son Jesus Christ, who is the Word of God and the Savior of the world, and the Holy Spirit, which is the active force of God, and the Holy Spirit, which is the third person of the Godhead. Hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Godhead. The Holy Spirit is the active force of God. The Holy Spirit is the power of God. And the Holy Spirit is the presence of God. This morning, may the power of the Holy Spirit be revealed in your life. May the Holy Spirit touch your life. May the Holy Spirit touch your life. May the Holy Spirit touch your life. May the Holy Spirit transform your life. May you have an encounter, divine encounter with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the divine Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit... Ah, it's the power of God in our lives. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit also is the presence of God. Hallelujah. Maskuta brahataya. This morning, may you encounter the fullness and the power of the Holy Spirit in every area of your life, your career, your business, your dreams, your aspirations, your health, your marriage, your finances, the work of your hands, everything that concerns your life, that pertains to life and God. May the Holy Spirit uh, ah, be revealed in your life. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you and I this morning that we will all encounter the presence of the Holy Spirit like never before. The Holy Spirit will Will reveal himself to us and we will see uh, his deity his person and his power in our lives in the mighty name of jesus and, and in the verse 8 the bible says that and there are three that bear witness also on the earth so that there are three that bear witness in heaven which is god the father the, the word and the holy ghost which is the holy spirit and the three also that bear record on earth is the spirit the water and the blood hallelujah and these three also agree in one hallelujah so the Holy Spirit and Jesus and God the Father agree in one. God does not do anything without the Son and the Spirit. The Spirit of God does not do anything without God the Father and the Son. And the Son does not also do anything without the Father and the, and the Spirit. Hallelujah. They all are one and one in all. And that makes the fullness of the Godhead bodily. I pray for you uh, that everything that has to become full in your life, for your life to be complete, uh, may the Holy Spirit bring that completeness. May the Holy Spirit bring that fullness of the glory of God in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ of Nazareth, experience the power of the fullness of God. May everything that needs to be complete and whole in your life, may the Holy Spirit uh, bring it to pass, bring it to pass, bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit is also the giver of life. The Holy Spirit is 
our director the holy spirit is our instructor the holy spirit is our comforter the holy spirit is our healer the holy spirit is our provider he is all in all he does everything for us hallelujah and this morning may the holy spirit uh, Bring everything that you desire in your heart to pass. May the Holy Spirit heal your body. May your Holy Spirit, may the Holy Spirit deliver you uh, from the, the, the powers of darkness. May the Holy Spirit remove uh, disappointment out of your life. May the Holy Spirit comfort you. May the Holy Spirit encourage and motivate you in every area of your life. Whatever has brought you uh, to the place uh, of disappointment, anything that is making you to operate in the spirit of suppression, depression, and oppression, May the Holy Spirit comfort you and empower you uh, in the name of Jesus. I pray this morning uh, over your life and destiny that you will encounter the power and the presence of the Spirit of God like never before. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Beloved, the Lord bless you. Share this word, propagate this word, that this word will be a blessing and a spiritual impartation to as many people that receive it through the power of of the holy spirit in jesus mighty mighty name amen and amen hallelujah father in the name of jesus uh, thank you this morning for your word uh, let your word cause revival in the lives of your people let your word bring healing deliverance salvation exhortation motivation and empowerment uh, and encouragement in the lives of your people i pray this morning uh, that as your word has come forth for us to have revelation knowledge of who the holy spirit is in our lives let the holy spirit cause uh, divine transformation and spiritual upliftment and enlightenment in the lives of your people i pray let your holy spirit reveal Reveal himself uh, to your people and let them have an encounter with him like never before in the mighty name of Jesus I pray that in this day let them uh, let your people encounter the presence of your spirit like never before in the mighty name of Jesus bless your people empower them lift them up exhort them and elevate them in Jesus mighty name I pray amen and amen the Lord bless you beloved shalom peace from above